Yeah! <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to the house. <laughs> Alright guys, so I wanted to go over how um, everything is kind of made when it comes to CAD and when it comes to prototyping. And two years ago, when I made this thing. So, when I made this thing, I made it with a doodle pen, a 3D doodle pen. And let me show you what that looks like. Uh, 3D pen. Enter. So 3D pen <laughs> is basically one of these. And um, which one do I have? Uh, this, no, this is one I have. And you, you basically hold this button or press that button and filament runs out. You can use this for ABS, PLA, and I used it for PLA when I made this. This, you can kind of see the texture, and I just did a whole bunch of swirls until I made the grip. And uh, same with, and this thing is solid, like I'm, I'm squeezing the hell out of it, and it's very, very strong. So 3D Doodle Pen is pretty cool to use um, if you're a novice, complete novice at 3D printing, and you are want to be creative, you have a creative outlet, and just go ahead and doodle away. Uh, that's it for the the BB marker barrel. The 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 jack is just a regular jack. I think this is the is the smallest HPA unit, so that was really nice. I used a hopper adapter with threads on it, so I can screw it into the top here. The trigger is just a speed trigger. The uh, SCU is a mini SCU, uh, I, I think, because the other one got burnt out or lost. I'm using regular switches and the micro switch. <laughs> okay, so this is something I have to either order or remake, 3D print. And this is basically a trigger board, but I wired every all the connectors from the SCU to the different spots. So that goes over that. Now... After two years, and I, I taught myself how to uh, 3D print using Fusion 360, and now I'm actually using Thinkercad. And Thinkercad is kind of funny because it's like a child's pro or a kid, like a kid's program to 3D model, but you can actually get a lot done with Thinkercad. And uh, and uh, as you can see from here, and I have a a bunch of other designs on my uh, Thinkercad, so. Uh, here is the marker. Uh, I'm going to show you the internals. So there's a model of a jack and that sits where it needs to sit. I don't need, I measured out everything for the uh, the barrel and internal of this. You can see it's all hollow, but I, I'm doing this pretty thick because this I'm just using a standard 3D printer and um, it has to be pretty thick so, so for strength. But when I outsource this, for a multi-jet fusion printer, uh, I can make it a little bit thinner and and nicer. So even even the uh, the housing up here, the frame or the uh, housing, and this is the frame. So okay, so for the hopper, I'm using a die rotor. Uh, here's a die rotor. In the future, I want to change this to actually use the loading mechanism that the die rotor has. So here's the loading mechanism. So I want I wanted to use this for feeding BBs instead of paintballs, but I have to redesign this and this, and then I can use that, but we'll see. We'll see how that works later. Um, but for now, temporary, because I'm kind of in a crunch, I'm using a M249 uh, um, box mag. So that hose goes in here, and this actually, this actually fits inside of the die rotor perfectly. So, so I'm gonna use it like that. This and this is for prototype, so I'm gonna switch it to later when I print the actual feeding mechanism. So let's go over to my printer. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> so I have three printers going right now. I ran out of filament, otherwise I'd use that printer. So you can actually see the setting down the first few layers. This printer right here is doing the frame. Uh, yeah, the frame, the grip. This printer here is actually doing the uh, jack housing and the barrel. And down here, 
this printer is printing the back and the back cap and also printing the housing or the uh, regulator holder and the hopper adapter the hopper feed adapter so uh, that grid pattern you see right there is the, the um, support and that's pretty much it so I have to get all this done and mailed out to Balahack Airsoft uh, uh, attention average on there because he's having me come out to to uh, show off some cool things like my my bullpup MK23 adapter that I stopped selling because it just wasn't worth it. Yeah. So you can see that's a SSX23 actually in there. And uh, what else am I bringing? I'm bringing my mini LMG and my stubby MK23. Those are a couple things that he wanted to see. He wanted to see other things, but I recycled everything, like the jack that used to be in the, the, the nail gun. So, <sighs> should be there showing off some cool things. I'm gonna be playing with the BB marker the most, actually. I, I wanna snipe, but I'm not gonna ship my my uh, SSX or SSG24 there. This thing is fully custom, 3D printed, of course, but um, I'm not gonna ship that. I, uh, I'm gonna be running and gunning with my BB marker the whole time, entire time. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. All right, so this finally finished uh, because I have four printers and I'm using three of them to print all the components. This only took uh, like 16 hours. If I only used one printer and printed everything all at once, this would have took um, like 24 uh, a day and a day and 12 hours I think more or less and I have to make sure everything fits before I start sanding it and painting it just like I did the barrel so here's the barrel sanded and painted I use primer because I like that gray color and uh same with the the front I, <laughs> I put these stickers here I thought they would look cool so uh yeah I like it and I put these threaded inserts in and so you melt these into the plastic and uh, they are pretty strong. So yeah. And also the hopper feeds perfectly. And once I put assemble everything and once it's painted, I'll show the operation of it. So. All right, so I got the top on the uh, frame. Some of the wiring in there was a little tricky just because, you know, I just finished everything. Uh, for time's sake, I screwed on a tank and check out the nozzle. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put the barrel on. Outer barrel. But it's important to have an outer barrel because if not, your barrel is gonna, your hop unit is gonna be misaligned and uh, it'll cause your polar star to not fire properly. All right. So let's see what this all looks like put together, I guess. So I'm gonna get the hopper, slide that bad boy on. Okay, that's, that needs to be tightened, but overall, that's what we are looking at. <laughs> I love it, it looks so cool. It's kinda loud. Let's go ahead and shoot it now. <laughs> I'm gonna plug in the tracer unit and uh, go outside. Be right back. All right, guys. So I'm gonna turn on the tracer unit. No, turn on the gun first. Tracer unit. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see. Let me see how the camera. Okay. Which way? All right. So shooting in that direction. <laughs> I'll put binary on to make it easier for myself. Wow. So, I have the camera.
trying out the uh, winding mechanism and it seems to work really nice. Should have a bunch of BBs in there. something dark. So I think it's like good to keep this thing like fully topped off, which I have mini pods. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah! All right, well, that's it. I hear some in there. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to the house. <laughs>